step by step let us understand how to use middleware so in this i will be showing you simple middleware that is logger middleware using which we can log all the information related to our redux application like we can log the actions and whatever state changes are done that we can easily log for debugging purpose so here step by step i will be showing you because later when we start fetching the data this entire steps will be very important so i will be going very very slow first step you have to install npm package of redux logger for that open google just type redux logger and just click on this first link inside this you will be having entire documentation you do not have to read this entire documentation here i am having install i will just copy this command npm i redux logger i'll come here open terminal and inside this i'm just going to paste that command hit enter using this i'm just installing this redux logger package once it is installed to check open this package.json and inside this dependencies we are having our redux logger come to documentation now what we are doing we are creating own logger for our application so just scroll down you can see we have this we have to create own logger and we are having this custom options so inside this first what we have to do we have to import this create logger so here if we are using redux we have to import this create logger from redux logger but now we are writing the code in vanilla javascript first we have to access our redux logger package and from that package we have to access this method i'll come here i will come on top so below this i will write redux logger is equal to require and inside this i'm just going to give the package name that is nothing but redux hyphen logger so in this way first we have access the package then second from this redux logger i have to access my create logger method below this i will write here const i will give the variable name as logger you can give any name now from this redux logger i have to access this create logger method okay simple enough first we have installed the package second we have access the package and from that package we have access our create logger method so now successfully we have accessed our logger but now the question is where should we include this middleware in our application very simple which leads to our fourth step that is from our redux library we get access to apply middleware method so here i have to access that method below this logger i will write apply middleware and this apply middleware method i will be getting access from redux library so here i will write redux dot apply middleware okay simple enough till now we have completed four steps install the package access redux logger package from that package access this create logger and inside the redux we are having this apply middleware and why we are using this method because using this method we can use logger in our application now fifth step just scroll down here we have written the code to create the store now inside this we are going to pass our second parameter which is nothing but our apply middleware apply middleware and inside this apply middleware i will be passing the argument as logger and this logger is nothing but our middleware so using this i have accessed the method from redux logger which is nothing but my logger so this logger i have to pass as argument inside my apply middleware so inside this create store 
we are going to pass second parameter apply middle wear which will be taking our logger middle wear now here I am having only one middleware in my application. So I have written this. If I want to create multiple middlewares, I have to separate by comma and I can add multiple middlewares. Remove this. Now last step, I am just going to remove this console. Instead, I will be writing here empty curly braces. Why? Because we are using our logger middleware. Now manually, I do not want to log anything. Instead, this logger middleware will be taking care of all the logs in our application. Open terminal and inside this I will write note logger underscore middleware dot js. Hit enter. Now you can see successfully I am able to access all the logs. And this line initial state I have written manually. You can see initial state. So successfully, I am able to access initial state of my application where I am having 100 pizza base and 200 burger buns. And after that, whatever dispatch I have done, based on that, you can see first I am having order pizza. Why? Because here I am dispatching order pizza. So inside that, previous state is displayed. My action type is displayed. And inside this next state, my pizza base is reduced by 1 and my burger buns has not changed. So here I will have 200. Similarly, again I am having order pizza. You can see action is order pizza. Now here previous state is displayed. Again previous state is displayed. This is the entire state of my application. And inside reducer, whatever state I have passed, that will be displayed. Action is displayed. And finally, inside this next state, I am having 98 pizza base and 200 burger buns. Now next I am having order burger. So based on that, operations will be performed and my burger buns will be reduced by 1. You can see my burger bun is reduced by 1. Here you will be having lot of information. So I suggest you to use this logger middleware inside your application. and once go through all this data and understand what is the previous state, what is action, what is the next state and how the data is calculated. But it is very important to understand all the steps. So in total we had six steps. First to install the package. Second to access Redux logger. Third to access this create logger method from Redux logger. Fourth, to access this apply middleware from Redux library. Fifth, to pass apply middleware inside create store at second parameter where apply middleware will be taking our logger. And finally, remove all the console. Even if you remove this console, no problem. I will just open this. Again, I will be having my result. But now, whatever console I have written that is not displayed. Instead, whatever dispatch actions I have done and after that whatever state I am having that will be displayed. So this is how simple logger middleware will be working in Redux.